Good morning. This is Galloland on the Go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. A young child is hurt after a long fall from a Sioux Falls hotel this weekend. Police say the child, who is around two years old, fell multiple stories from the Clubhouse Hotel and Suites on South Louise just before 9 o'clock Saturday morning. CPR was performed on the toddler at the scene. We don't know the condition of the child yet. We hope to learn more about the incident during Monday morning's briefing by Sioux Falls Police, which we will carry live here on Kelloland.com beginning at 10.30. A weekend shooting in Custer County has left one man dead and the suspected gunman later took his own life following a pursuit. Sheriff's deputies responded to a home west of Custer Friday night for a report of a homicide. They found the body of a man at the home. A woman who was assaulted drove herself to the hospital. On Saturday, law enforcement found the suspect driving his pickup in Colorado and that's when the pursuit began. Authorities were able to stop the vehicle, but say the suspect shot and killed himself before officers could contact him. Officers recovered a handgun from the pickup. A nonprofit in Mitchell is looking to bring a homeless shelter to the community. The group Home for Now started a year ago to address issues of homelessness in Mitchell. The organization says people seeking shelter often have to be sent to Sioux Falls or put up for the night in a motel. Home for Now says a more permanent solution needs to be found. So Mitchell, as, as of now, um, has a need um, for about a 20 to 30 bed facility. While the group eventually wants to build a homeless shelter, they say their immediate task is raising awareness. They say very often people living in smaller communities don't want to acknowledge that homelessness is a problem in their own backyards. Let's take our first look at the forecast now. A meteorologist Adam Rutt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. It has certainly been a quiet start to the day out there. Not much of a breeze to speak of and not a whole lot of cloud cover either. The exception is out toward Rapid City. A little bit of fair weather cloud cover, but really that's the only blemish to an otherwise beautiful start to the day. 49 with a westerly breeze at 5 miles per hour. We're also looking good in Aberdeen. 45 with a north wind at 9 miles per hour. And blue skies over Sioux Falls. That is a, a view from our downtown camera. 59 though at the airport with a north wind at 13 miles per hour. Now to put that 59 into perspective, that's our average high temperature today and we have already reached it at this early part of your day. It's only going to get warmer from here. We set a lot of records yesterday. I don't think we'll do that today, but it's not to say one or two couldn't be in jeopardy. Still, though, we're in the 40s and 50s in many locations this morning, including 51 for Yankton, 52 Spencer, uh, 46, though, for Pier, 46 also in Spearfish, some 30s, though, Faith into Pine Ridge. The wind, while there in a couple of locations, overall, it's far more tolerable. We'll talk about the potential for some severe weather, though, for late Monday into Tuesday. A lot of rain along at the same time, and then chillier temperatures by the end of the week. A lot to unpack. We'll break down the details coming up. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. Well, we have a road construction project to tell you about on the east side of Sioux Falls that could affect your drive to work and school. Starting tomorrow, the southbound lanes of Sycamore Avenue will be closed between 6th Street and Arrowhead Parkway. Crews will be doing concrete joint and cur uh, curb and gutter repairs. One lane of traffic in each direction will be maintained in the northbound lanes. The work is expected to be completed in November. The Augustana University Orchestra and All City Middle School Honors Orchestra perform a side-by-side -side concert in Sioux Falls. The music starts at 3.30 at Gloria Day Lutheran Church. Tickets are $15, free for students with an ID. The Premier Playhouse presents the musical Oklahoma. The performance is at 2 o'clock in the Orpheum Theater Center in downtown Sioux Falls. Tickets are $35. The Storm Indoor football team hosts their season home opener against the Tulsa Oilers. Kickoff at the Denny Sanford Premier Center is at 3.05. And enjoy final round action of the Masters Golf Tournament on Kelloland TV. CBS Sports coverage from Augusta National starts at 1 p.m. Central Time. Kelloland Weekend News at 5.30 will air on Kello Extra. Adam? Well, I will uh, promise you this much. Satellite and radar is working. We just don't have anything to talk about and not even much in the way of cloud cover beyond what we saw on the Rapid City camera a little bit earlier. So we'll zoom out and you can see some moisture out there. 
It's in Ontario, but at least it shows that this is indeed operational. We do have a couple of frontal boundaries to the south and west, but high pressure over Canada is going to really assert its influence and keep us very quiet. In fact, in fact, uh, much of the continental United States not seen too much in the way of active weather. That's rain over towards Sacramento and San Francisco, even over toward uh, Reno, Nevada. Uh, but the uh, severe weather threat today is going to be out toward the mid-Atlantic in between this cold and warm front, respectively, where they could see uh, the potential for a little bit of everything uh, out toward the Rust Belt into Pittsburgh and central portions of Pennsylvania. Uh, enhanced, risk, uh, enhanced risk actually out that way, level 3 out of 5. An uncommon sight out that way, but we have our own things to worry about here in Kelowland. Just not today. The rest of your day and overnight outside of an isolated shower, it's going to be pretty quiet. But as we head toward Monday, while we stay generally pleasant East River, showers begin to develop in central and north central portions of Kelowland as we go into your day on Monday, especially the first part of your day. But toward the evening, we start to see things unravel a little bit more to the west and southwest with showers and thunderstorms developing. Again, I think much of the day to the east and southeast on Monday is quiet and again unseasonably warm. But then overnight into Tuesday, uh, that activity blossoms a little bit more and that will spread eastward overnight into early Tuesday morning. In fact, a lot of rain and those thunderstorms will stick around through Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening. A marginal risk for severe weather level one out of five is in place in Green, Sioux Falls and Mitchell to Madison, Huron, Pier, Mulbridge, and then looping all the way over into Buffalo, Belfouche, and the Black Hills with a slight risk level two out of five in yellow for south central South Dakota, including northern Nebraska, and then along the Missouri River toward areas like Yankton, Vermilion, and uh, North Sioux City as well down in Union County. Wind and hail are the main concerns, but an isolated tornado risk, again, cannot be ruled out as we head uh, through the later part of the day. And again, this is mainly from Monday evening through overnight Monday into early Tuesday. So due to the timing, have your storm tracker app ready to go and a NOAA weather radio on standby as well so you can get those overnight advisories. Uh, meanwhile, for Tuesday, we still have a marginal risk level one of the five in place in green for a few isolated severe thunderstorms. That is going to be for the Sioux Falls area points south and then east as well. So we're not going to be quite done with this on Tuesday. On top of all of that, we have a lot of rain we're going to be monitoring uh, with the potential to see upward of two inches of rain or more by the time we get through Wednesday in eastern and southeastern Kelowland. So we have the flooding concern to watch as well. A lot to go over, but none thing to worry about today. We'll be in the 70s and 80s for high temperatures across much of the area. 70s up to the north and east, 80s the farther south you go, with overnight lows tonight dropping into the 40s and low 50s. The rest of your seven-day forecast does feature one more unseasonably warm day on Monday before temperatures begin to drop pretty decently. And then we also watch the uh, threat for severe weather come around as we go into Monday night and Tuesday, and then some rain lingering into Wednesday in Sioux Falls. We do dry out by the end of the week, but then we're back down to either side of 50 for a high by then. In Aberdeen, sunny and 76 today, but then showers and thunderstorms late Monday into Tuesday, and a few lingering showers on Wednesday before we dry out and cool down for the end of the week. In Pier, more of the same, a beautiful day today, 77, then 80 on Monday, showers and thunderstorms developing, and then we get ready for those thunderstorms into Tuesday before we have a nice end of the week on the way. Last but not least, Rapid City, a beautiful day, near 80 for a high for your Sunday, then showers and thunderstorms storms Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, even a few isolated showers on Thursday before you cool down into the mid 40s for high temperatures by the end of the week. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather and sports, you can always head on over to Kelloland.com.